So, Evan's like wheel fell off when he yeah, was yeah, we gotta coming check here. This out. And basically, we gotta take it off the trailer, and it's only got three wheels right now, so it's gonna be interesting. So, granted, a lot of the times we've hung out with Evan, uh, he's been in Idaho with us, but he actually lives about three hours away from us towards Duluth in Minnesota. And he was driving here with two big bikes in the back and two pitters, and all of his wheel studs broke, and his tire came off. So then Ryan had to come get him come in. Look at this, dude. Oh, man. But so when we got there, the tire was still over this. Sounds so bad. Maybe Chevys are just not good. No, dude, it's the freaking quick lube or just anyone, like when they rotate your tires, the kid just can <laughs> over torques those things on every time. Dude, guess yeah, what I thought? Strong. The rim is escape problem it free. It, it's just okay. low. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just don't think of it as a hub. Just think of it as a little baby wheel. Backwards? Yeah. 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 Oh. Uh, my foot might have slipped off the brake. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, dude, it's good to have Evan's truck home somewhat safe, not fixed, um, but we're ripping pit bikes now, dude. Snow or not. Oh, my God. No, Mike. Mike, are you okay? Ah, oh, shit, boys. Mike Air 404 again. <laughs> no, 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 dude, the arm swings were too good. When we said he was going to be greasy today, holy shit, little did we know it was going to be greasy. Greasy. So yeah, we got rain last night, snow this morning. And the track is pretty much useless. Like the pitters literally can't move. So our plan is to take our neighbor Cody's wood chips and then disperse them basically on the landings and on the jumps and try and get some traction so we can actually ride pit bikes today. That's good, dog. Oh! Yeah, that's right where I wanted to go. <laughs> I'm not sure if the faces will need it. I think they might be able to dry out, dude. <laughs> There's a saying that if you want something bad enough, you'll make it happen no matter what. And I think we just did that. You can't just stand around and you know, like let life just go by. You gotta grab it by the balls and just really give it to her. I'm mega inspired. Muddy pit biking is the most intense thing ever. Nobody has control. Nobody's really that good besides Evan, no offense. And it's just a mess. Look at this. And being a cameraman is not that great either. Dude, the pitter track is mint. <laughs> Rumors were it was too wet to ride. Let me in. 
Here, come forward. This is a great idea. Oh yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> Put it in a bar, Butch! Put it around! Tune! So to shed some context to what's about to happen, we're gonna take our limo in to pick up our friend Crandall, who is coming into town from New York to wrap my truck and Micah's BMW. So this is just gonna be a <clears throat> 20 minute dialogue of me getting changed. You guys are gonna see everything, no blurring, <laughs> no black boxes, all uncensored. This is where you plug your OnlyFans. By the way, I have an OnlyFans, Zanman69. <laughs> Ken, <laughs> tell me I look good, Ken, please. Micah, you look fantastic. Dude, you kind of look nice. Can you tie this? Thank you. Oh, kind of? I mean, we good to go? Ryan is on a frat. He knows how to tie a tie. Ryan's kind of killing this. And it's crazy. I paid $1,000 a semester to learn how to tie a tie. <laughs> Shotty came through sipping out PAs. Like, all I didn't know was that time of day. And I wasn't trying to party, but it's much too late. Like, fuck it, I'm going to grab one. Jail time. No more jail time. Dude, look at everyone looking at us right now. Just full dab for the whole crew. I missed you, bro. Dude, it's been too long. It's been way too it's long. Been one. Is Craig dressed up? <laughs> we're trying to we're trying to figure that out, dude. Hey, they made me, but yeah. Welcome to the limo, buddy. Dude, this is sick, baby. All right, so you guys saw us pick up Crandall last night. He's actually in town from New York City to wrap my truck and Micah's BMW. And he gave us strict instructions by the time he gets here to make sure that my truck and Micah's Beamer were fully taken apart so all he had to do was show up and just wrap. We didn't do that. <laughs> to say the least, uh, we got some dismantling to do. Broke it. God damn it, dude. I'd have to pay for that if it was a customer. CJ was all worried about wrapping his Evo because he didn't want to like dismantle it and break anything. And I was like, <laughs> it's fine. I don't know. <laughs> so I put a poll on Instagram to uh, have you guys vote which color to do. And the color with the most comments is the one I went with Nardo Gray. Just gonna reveal it right now. You'll see us be putting it on, but we're also gonna be doing some of the wheels that I won't show till the very end. What, what's, what's the move then, the hut first? Mm -hmm. Always. Standard procedure. Thank you, sir. You guys don't even want to know what I had to go through to get this here in time. <laughs> I initially ordered, like last Thursday, it's supposed to be on Saturday, it got held up. Long story short, that first wrap was not gonna be here until Wednesday, which is tomorrow, which is the day that Crandall leaves. So, Sunday night, I went back on, ordered another thing of vinyl. It may have changed the color. What? Yeah, after seeing Micah's, I was like, ah, that looks too good. So I kinda went with something similar. And then I overnighted it, uh, which was like 150 bucks. Don't even wanna talk about it. Really upset that it even had to happen, but, What's done is done. Are we gonna wrap or what, Cran? Yeah, right on the oh god, yeah. Please be orange, please be orange. Ready? Is that brush? Dude, yeah. Oh wow, that's so sick. The actual term of it is brushed aluminum. Yeah, brushed aluminum. Get in there and look. It's like shiny. So initially I ordered blue. <sighs> 
and I thought that'd be sick, but I knew I'd get sick of it in like three weeks. I don't even want to know. Ow. All right, three days later, we're finally done. Wow, that was a process. That was. I hope you guys enjoyed that because it took a lot of time. And uh, we enjoyed the finished product, obviously, but holy, they look amazing, dude. Yeah, dude, it turned out really good. Your wheels brought it together. They turned out so sick. Yeah, so had uh, Crandall paint these. They were supposed to be candy red, and they came out very maroon, but like, that's okay. And then my trunk said this open, but it's not, so my top won't go down. Luckily, I can't drive it, because it's snowing out, so that's fine. Yeah, but it dude. looks amazing. It's gonna look really good until next In the year. garage, yeah. Uh, and then we have Ben. Yeah, so as I mentioned, I was gonna go with the Hyper Blue. Opted out last minute, which I'm really happy I did, because this brushed aluminum is incredible. It's like one of one. I haven't even seen it on a truck or a car. So I think it's pretty special. So the whole thing is directional. So pretty much no matter which angle you look at it, you catch like a different body line, which I really like. And then one of my favorite touches was the front grill. You can see that we basically just overlaid the brushed aluminum on that. So yeah, turn out fire. Big thanks to Crandall, aka Buffalo Dips on Instagram if you wanna check him out or get your car wrapped or your wheels painted or something. So yeah, shout out to him for coming out and yeah. wrapping our cars. Two great cars, Seaboys TV fleet just got a little cooler. But seriously, thanks guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and catch you next video. I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why you're getting dressed up. It seemed like it made sense at the time. You told me to, and now you don't know why, so this Dude. makes it really unfortunate for me.